Hey y'all, it's Kate from The Litter Apothecary and welcome back to my channel. Today's review is about Under the Greenwood Tree by Thomas Hardy. I listened to the audiobook on Audible narrated by Simon Vance and this is going to be a short review because it kind of fell mid for me and I don't have a whole lot of good things to say but I did want to give it its due because I am trying to make more of a conscious effort and review in various formats all of the books that I'm writing at some point or another. So today's book up is Under the Greenwood Tree by Thomas Hardy. This is a 19th century Victorian romance classic. Quick spoiler free summary for you all and this is a really short summer because you know these class classics are shorter and all revolve around one main theme or a couple main themes so they're really easy to just summarize in one sentence or more um so our spoiler free summary for under the greenwood tree the story of a romantic entanglement between church musician dick dewey and the attractive new school mistress fanny day and those names just make me laugh every time. I kept laughing while I was listening to this audiobook because the names just made me laugh so much. They remind me a lot of Charles Dickens names. His character names are absolutely fantastic. And while Thomas Hardy's character names aren't quite at Charles Dickens level, they still made me laugh so much. Uh, but honestly, this book felt a bit forgettable to me, which is hard to say for classics. Y'all know I love my classics. Um, I just, I don't know, it just fell flat for me. Maybe because I'm reading all of these amazing fantasy stories and it just, I miss that magical feel, but this one kind of felt eh. Um, this is, I think, my third or fourth Thomas Hardy book, and it's kind of all felt similar. But without further ado, now I am like procrastinating this. Um, let's give you, let's go into my call pile breakdown. For characters, I gave this a seven out of ten. I liked the characters, but at times it felt like there were too many. Even if there was only a couple doing stuff they there was so much gossip going on in this book that it was hard to keep track of who the characters were that were in the actual scenes and what was going on with these different characters so it was hard for me at least to keep track of especially just via audiobook atmosphere setting i gave an eight and a half out of ten and i felt like this was thomas hardy's best category in my opinion um, he really set the scene well. It felt like that small English town that it was supposed to take place in. I had that feeling, that atmospherical feeling. I could see it, everything happening, all the houses and the church and the school, everything happening. Um, writing style, I gave a 6 out of 10. For me, it was too easy just to tune it out. Um, I was reading it, but it was too easy to just go about and not pay attention. Intrigue, I gave this, no, skip, come back to Intrigue because I can't read my own writing. Plot, I gave a 6.5 out of 10. Um, for me, it felt like a lot more happened than actually happened. I finished listening to audiobook and I was like, okay, we're done with this. I have to go back and see all that happened because it felt like there was so much happening that I couldn't keep track of. And then I went back and read our spoiler-free summary and I was thinking, oh, is that all it is? It was basically a romance with lots of gossip going on. Okay, I can handle that, but it felt like there was a lot more going on. Um, sometimes that's a good thing. In this case, for me, it distracted me from the plot line. I couldn't even remember the main plot line. And so for me, in this situation, it was not as good. Intrigue, back to intrigue. And sadly, this is the lowest rating in our call pile breakdown. I gave this one a three out of 10. I just did not feel the intrigue at all in this story. Logic and relationships, I gave a seven. Everything made sense in its own kind of way. Um, I felt like our relationships, while they weren't bad, they could have been better. 
um, I wanted more developed there. And then enjoyment, I gave a 5 out of 10. Uh, I just felt like it was, yeah, that's okay. Wasn't terrible, wasn't the worst book I read, wasn't the best book I read, wasn't the worst classic, wasn't the best classic. Probably will never reread that again, but I did read it and I can say I've read more than one or two Thomas Hardy novels now. Um, that gives us a total of 37 for a call pile total. You divide that by seven, you get 5.2, which equals out to about three and a half stars. So still not a terrible rating. I did still enjoy it and I'm glad that I read it, but probably not my favorite Thomas Hardy novel and definitely not my favorite classic, but I've read it and now we can move on to the next classic, which I've started yesterday. That's a Room with a View by E.M. Forrester, I believe. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that one. So that's it for now. If you've all read Under the Greenwood Tree, let me know in the comments below, what did you think of this one? Um, were you as underwhelmed as I was or did you love it? Absolutely. Did you think that there was more going on than actually was going on or did you have no trouble at all with the plot and the characters? As always, keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye. Oh,